Jacob Bay, Maxima Cum Laude, Brian Covington, Magna Cum Laude, Pietro Dioni, Magna Cum Laude, Austin Johns, Magna Cum Laude, Anthony Johnson, Cum Laude, Matt Long, Cum Laude, Blaine Sinak, Cum Laude. As Blaine comes forward, we want to also give special recognition to our classical and modern language instructors, Mr. Patrick Tebow, certainly Mr. John McCarritz, and Dr. Matthew Crutchfield, all faculty of our Latin and Greek language programs. Congratulations to our Latin recipients. <laughs> Membership in the French National Honor Society is based on scholarship in the French language courses. In order to become eligible for membership, students must be in at least their second year of French, must maintain at least an A average in French, and must maintain at least a B average in all other subjects. The following students have met these requirements and are receiving certificates of excellence, recognizing continued commitment to the French language and culture program. Before I call our recipients forward, I want to give special recognition to Mademoiselle Carmen Grushala, who is Chaminade's French instructor, and also the department chairperson of the Classical and Modern Language Department. Kyle Fry and O'Connor Richardson, please come forward. As they are coming forward, there are several juniors in the audience. You are scheduled to take an AP exam at 11.45. I would like to dismiss you now so that you can go and eat lunch and report to the exam room no later than 11.40. Membership in the Sociedad Honoraria Hispanica is based on scholarship in the Spanish language courses. The following members of the Spanish Honor Society, we will ask you please to stand and to be recognized for your honorary achievements this past year. And again, special recognition to Senorita Ave Lalamont, Senora Ortiz, and Senora Samara Sekera for your devotion, love, and dedication in developing the Spanish language and culture program. Please stand. Cameron Kavlovich, Matthew Erickson, William Glatson, Ryan Hoffman, Sean Pulowski, Tim Steele, our Spanish scholars. Several universities honor juniors with outstanding potential by awarding book awards. The criteria for selection are exceptional academic excellence, rigorous college preparatory courses, high test scores, concern for others, and respect for personal qualities. This year, five Chaminade Juniors have been named Book Award winners. Will the following juniors please come forward 
to accept their book awards, we will hold our applause. The script says five, but I only see four awards. Am I accurate? Mrs. Wheeler, I defer to you. Thank you, dear. Roderick Campbell, you have been awarded the St. Michael's College Book Award. Please come forward, Roderick. The Dartmouth Book Award to Austin Johns. These are very, very prestigious awards coming from top universities and colleges across the U.S. The Princeton Book Award, Brian Covington. The Yale University Book Award, Jacob Bay. I think these four deserve a great round of applause. <laughs> the 2015 National Merit Program Qualifiers. These are juniors who have met the selection index score of 203 or above on the PSAT, have been identified as students of outstanding academic potential, and are top scorers in the state of Missouri. They will move on in the National Merit Program to determine semi-finalists and finalists. Shamanad this morning is happy to recognize four outstanding scholars. Please stand as your name is read. Jacob Bay, Brian Covington, Austin Johns, O'Connor Richardson, Congratulations, gentlemen. <laughs> KMOX, Southeast Missouri State Student of Achievement Award. The award, which was launched in 2003 and was the first scholarship to be established in the memory of Mr. Jack Buck, recognizes a junior in the St. Louis metropolitan area who has demonstrated the potential for academic achievement, leadership, and commitment to the St. Louis community. This year's recipient, I will ask that you stand and be recognized. A warm round of applause for Jacob Bay. The Outstanding Student Leadership Program provides training and recognition to youth in the St. Louis County by assisting them with development of the skills they need to be effective leaders and citizens. One senior from each county high school is nominated annually by his or her principal for participation in a leadership conference and recognition ceremony. I'm assuming that's junior nomination, not senior. The student has been selected to represent Chaminade based on the following. Involvement in the community as a volunteer, or help with fundraising, leadership in school and community, good citizenship, service in clubs, teams, and projects. This year, the St. Louis County 2015 Outstanding Student Leader Recipient. Please stand and be recognized with a warm response from your classmates, 
Timothy Steele. <laughs> Through the generosity of our many loyal donors, Chaminade has established 70 endowed scholarships. The total amount awarded to 128 recipients for the 2015-2016 school year is $373,400. When I call your name, gentlemen, please stand and remain standing. You are the endowed recipient. The r and Boyle Scholarship, Jacob Bay. Brennan, Eduardo Torres. Chaminade alum, Michael Lewis. Chaminade Hall of Fame, Laron Green. The class of 1982, two recipients, Andrew Gronick, Brendan Shaughnessy. The class of 2008, Stephen Nicodem. The Corbett Scholarship, Brian Covington. The Kutake Scholarship, David Capazza. Hastings and Chevetta Scholarship, Blaine Sinak. Hoover, Cameron Kavlovich. Feld Scholarship, Tim Steele. Friend of Chaminade Scholarship, Elvante Meyer, Kreckler, Sean Pulowski, Crone, Leo Ruzzo, Legrand Scholarship, John Wessel, McBride Scholarship, we have several, Connor Altick, Luke Hanley, Samuel Proust, Jack Spooner, Timothy Steele, Father Mellering, Brendan Robert, Ryan Hoffman, Morris Scholarship, Ryan Hoffman, Ohms, Roderick Campbell, Pagliara Clapp Scholarship, Anthony Agater, Roderick Campbell, Reed Eagle Scholarship, Christian Chellis, Roberts, Austin Johns, Salerno, Brendan Shaughnessy, Schreiber, Laron Green, and the Marianist Scholarship, Brian Randa. Congratulations to all of you. Academic scholarships for the 2015-2016 school year are awarded by Chaminade. These awards, as you know, are partial, they are renewable, and they are based upon your academic performance for this school year. The five juniors in this division with the highest grade point average at the end of the school year will be selected to receive these awards. And all award winners will be notified in the mail in early June. At this time, I would like to introduce one of our distinguished seniors, Noah Catt. He is the representative of the E Pluribus Unum Scholarship Committee. And he is here this morning to present the fifth E Pluribus Unum Scholarship. Welcome. Morning, gentlemen. Uh, as Dr. Kez said, my name is Noah Catt. Uh, I'm a committee member of the student-run E Pluribus Unum Scholarship. Uh, each year, the senior committee members raise seed money for that scholarship, as well as the $1,000 Lux Lucidissima Scholarship. Uh, that we award to a current junior. The funds will be applied to his tuition his, for his senior year at Chaminade. The Lux Ludissima, Ludissima, Lucidissima, sorry, my line's a little rusty, 
uh, scholarship is awarded to one rising senior. The recipient is to be selected by the, se by the several seniors running the E Pluribus Unum and must be of the highest quality. The recipient has to be a student who is seen to have a positive influence on and who is well respected by his peers. He is to be in good academic standing and be a substantial, substantial partic participant in extracurricular activities. The recipient of this scholarship is to be a young man of tremendous character and integrity. This year's recipient is Roger Campbell. And please come forward. Let's give them another round of applause. Thank you, Noah. Congra congratulations to all of you, and this will conclude today's assembly. I do want to remind the book award recipients and those of you who are National Merit High Scores, please meet Mrs. Ostermuller in the back of the skip here for a photograph before you leave to go to class. Gentlemen, please stand, and thank you very much for being a terrific audience. Yes. Oh, you called me up for AP history and something else. I was just letting you know it wasn't on there, and I don't take AP history or <laughs> You're kidding. advanced biology. Yeah. Uh, I know some of the kids actually were didn't take any of those classes. They were really confused. <laughs> well, I know Mrs. Cunningham prepares that. So maybe what I'll do is at the end of the day, I'll make an announcement, or I'll have Mr. Vlahut make an announcement that if any certificate is wrong, they can always come back and repair it. I, don't, I couldn't tell if the script was wrong. Yeah, because I don't take AP history or advanced right. biology. So the this, this is the right set of course. I think okay. the certificates are right. Then the script was I wrong. Think, I think the script was wrong. Yeah. Okay. okay, I was making sure. I know some people were messed up, so. I'm running because I got an AP exam to close and to open. Uh-oh. It's fathers. Fathers. You know what, Peter? No, I'm good. You know, 